Somebody say jingle. We got our jingle coming. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to ABC Yoga. I'm Amy, Bill with our new jingle, and of course we may see an occasional cat. So we're going to start this morning. If you have a brick close by, please grab a brick. But we're going to start this morning actually on our shins, seated down and uh, on your heels. If this is not comfortable, by all means, you can sit on a brick or a book. You can also um, adjust in a uh, cross-legged position, but let's first close our eyes. Hands resting on the top of your thighs. We open up our collarbones, let the shoulders roll down the back. And then find our attention or draw our attention to our incoming breath. Audible exhalations, open up the mouth, just ha it out, ha. Let's take three more like that. We sip in the inhale, ha. Two more, breathe in, our heart lifts, mouth opens, gentle exhale, ha. Please sip in one more breath. Mouth opens, let it go. And rooting the shins into the mat, a nice tall spine, crown of the head reaching up towards the heavens. Take a moment here to set an intention for your practice. And just blink your eyes awake, resting your hands on top of your thighs. We'll explore cat cow. So we inhale, open up our heart. On an exhale, round that back body. Let's start slowly, inhale, maybe gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, round that back body. Keep going, opening up that heart, round, exhale. Making the movement fluid as we begin to warm up the spine. We're breathing. Let's take two more. One more, inhale, we'll exhale the air out, and then we'll transition onto our hands and knees, but we're gonna draw the brick between our thighs. Same setup, fingers spread wide, shins root. Again, now we'll explore cat-cow, squeezing the brick. The brick between our thighs helps us connect with our core, so add that movement, so you're zipping, connecting that core. We'll exhale the air out, round that back body, root through the shins, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, we squeeze, we round. We breathe in, eyes up towards the sky. Couple more here, moving at your own breath count. Our fingers are spread wide. Our hands are directly underneath our shoulders. Can you feel your toenails? Let's take three more here. We're still squeezing that brick between our thighs. If you don't have a brick, you don't need it. We're just inviting you to use it. We'll take one more, inhale. We exhale the air out. Still squeezing that brick, tops of the feet root. We'll explore lifting our knees, squeezing the brick. So we just hover them a couple inches off the mat. Just finding that different connection to our core, warming up the body with our breath. Take another inhale here. On an exhale, we lower the knees down. You can bump those hips side to side. Exploring second time, second, uh, second one. So the feet root, we hover those knees, we squeeze that brick, connect with the core, gaze straight ahead of you, lengthen through the back of the neck. Sip in one more inhale. Let's lower those knees down. Getting warm here. Bump those hips side to side. We'll take one more like that. So we squeeze the brick, tops of the feet root. We hover those knees just a few inches off the mat. Still squeezing that brick for five, for four. Keep squeezing three, two, and if you can, we'll roll over our toes. Still squeezing the 
those knees, they're squeezing those thighs together, finding that downward dog, heels draw to the floor, shake out that head, opening up those collarbones, shake out that head, still squeezing that brick, we'll inhale the high plank. Okay, straight ahead, that line of energy from your heels out through the crown of the head. Two more breaths, navel in and up towards the spine. Beautiful, one more breath here. On an exhale, we lift those six bones, eyes towards the back of the mat. Shake out that head. We have two more like that. So we squeeze that brick, connect with the core. And imagine like a wave, we're gonna roll that body forward, shoulder over the wrist creases into that high plank. Breathing here. You should draw your hands a little further below your shoulders, Bill. One more breath in. Exhale, lift those sits, folks. Eyes towards the back of the mat. Shake out that head. Mm -hmm. Last one here, squeezing the brick. So again, imagining that wave-like motion. So we're just going to roll that body forward into that high plank. Still squeezing that brick. Our core is connected. One more full inhale. Nice work. Exhale, lift those sit bones. Let's gently remove that brick to the side. We will use it later. And we'll bend that right knee, draw that left heel to the floor. Shake out that head. And then the opposite knee, right heel down, steady breathing. And we'll alternate one more time that right knee bends, left heel to the earth. Fingers rooted. Last side, that left knee bends, right, right heel down. And we'll walk our hands back towards our toes. So take a wider stance than your, than your hips if possible. We'll find the opposite elbows and just sway side to side. Our head is heavy. <clears throat> our breath is steady in and out through the nose, that equal length of our inhalation and exhalation. And then pause here in stillness at the center of your mat. I'm gonna face forward here. We've explored this before, so leading with that right elbow, we'll come all the way up. Then take that left elbow over and then roll down. Now that right, the, 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 the left elbow leads, we reach up over the head, slight bend in the knees as we come down. Last time on this side, leading, lifting, softening, rolling all the way down to center and we'll take the opposite direction. So lead with that opposite elbow, pause up, round back, and down. Two more on this side. We're opening up the side body, moving that prana, taking your time as you descend. Beautiful last one, big breath in, extend over, lower, down. Just release the hands and just sway side to side. And we'll extend the arms forward, the feet back into our downward dog. And we'll extend that right leg up towards the sky. We'll bend the knee, stack the hips. Reaching that right knee a little higher. Hello. Uh, there's our old, our 18 year old cat, he never comes out. <laughs> <laughs> that right knee is reaching up towards the sky. It's a big moment for us. And we'll step that right foot forward into lizard. So we find that straight leg and we'll just sway backwards and forwards, opening up that ankle. That's totally bizarre. It's totally bizarre. He never comes out. You had a Sangha sighting. Sangha actually means community. So pausing here, we'll drop that left knee to the earth, untuck the toes, and just turn that right foot forward. So we'll, we're in that runner stretch here. And we'll take our hands on top of the thighs. Nice tall spine, so we're not leaning forward. We have a nice tall spine. 
And again, we'll extend our arms up and over, reaching those opposite elbows. So melt forward. And we'll just release that right arm towards the earth. That left elbow is still reaching high, so we fan those left ribs wide. Then we'll come back, find both opposite elbows again, and this time we'll just release the left arm. That right arm comes up and over. You can keep that brick to the side if you want a little, a little support. Now both arms extend up towards the sky. We'll lower our hands outside the front foot and let's warm up those hamstrings. So draw the hips back, flex the right toes. You can reach for opposite edge with the left hand. Nice long spine. A deep bend in that right knee, tuck those left toes under. We'll step into downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Shake out that head. And the left leg lifts. We bend the knee, stack those hips. Extend that left leg, step it forward into lizard. So the left foot is on a 45 degree angle. We start off with that straight leg, right straight leg, reach the heel, and then we'll just reach backwards and forwards. Adding some movement to our wrists and ankles. And we lower that right knee down, untuck the toes, and just spin that left foot forward. And we'll find that runner stretch. We open up the collarbones. And then taking our hands on our thighs, we have that nice tall spine. So energetically draw that left heel towards the center of the mat. Again, that helps us zip up the core. And we'll reach our arms up overhead. Again, finding those opposite elbows. So a nice tall spine. Keep the right elbow where it is. We'll just lower that left arm down. So the right arm is reaching up and over. Those right ribs are fanning wide. We're connecting with our breath. You can soften your eyes here. And then we'll reach the left hand high. We find those opposite elbows. And yes, the right arm just reaches towards the earth and fan those ribs. Our toes are spread wide. And we'll reach both arms up overhead, lower them down to the mat, right toes tuck under. We step back into downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing, shake out that head. Now we inhale back to high plank. Exhale to low plank. I'm gonna start dropping my knees. Elbows alongside the body. We inhale to baby cobra or our upward dog. We'll meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing. So that right leg lifts. We bend the knee, we stack the hips. We straighten that right leg, step it forward into warrior one. Inhale, enjoy that breath all the way up. We'll take our hands to our heart center, our right leg back, vinyasa. So high plank to low plank. Modify if you need to, a cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Here we go. Steady breathing, left leg lifts, side to siding. Bend the knees, stack the hips. Extend the left leg, step it forward into warrior one. We ride that breath all the way up. We take our hands to our heart center, our left leg back, high to low. A cobra or upward dog will meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing. Please take another full in breath. We'll let that go completely, bend the knees, look straight ahead. We step or maybe hop to the top of the mat. We find that halfway lift, beautiful long spine, Forward fold, crown of the head towards the floor. Then we ride that breath all the way up, lines of energy out through the fingertips. Let's cactus our hands out to the side, shake out that head, a full breath in as we swan dive forward. We're enjoying that ride down. We find that halfway lift. Please step or jump those feet back, high plank to low. A cobra or upward dog, 
We'll meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. The right leg lifts, bending the knees, stacking the hips. That right leg extends, we find warrior one. Ride that breath up and our hands to heart center as we fold. Right leg back, high plank to low plank. A cobra or up dog, nice. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. The left leg lifts, bending the knees, stacking those hips. The left leg extends, we step it forward. We find our warrior one, ride that breath up. Beautiful, our hands through our heart center. That left leg back, your version of your vinyasa. High to low plank, cobra or up dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing. Soft eye gaze through your tristy at the back of the mat. Our body's getting warmer, so take a slight bend in those knees as you press your chest closer to your thighs. From here, lift those sit bones a little higher, and then we draw those heels down, opening up the backs of the legs a little further. Please take one more breath in. We let that go completely. We bend the knees as we look forward. Step or spring forward, halfway lift, and we fold. Ride that breath up. Our heart lifts. We'll cactus those hands again. Shake out that head. Extend the arms high and ride that breath down. We find that halfway lift. Step or jump those feet back, high plank to low plank. A cobra or up dog. We'll meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Last time, the right leg lifts, bending the knee, stacking the hip. The right leg extends. We step it forward, find that warrior one. All the way up, hands to our heart center, your vinyasa. Take your time, modify if you need to. We'll always meet in downward dog. Soft eye gaze at the back of the mat. Then now the left leg lifts, bending those knees. We stack the, bend the knees, stack the hips. Extend the left leg, step it forward. Warrior one, big full breath in. Our hands to our heart center. Our left leg back, high to low plank. A cobra or upward dog, downward dog. Steady breathing here. Shake out that head. And keeping your hands where they are, let's walk our feet at least a foot closer to your hands, but take your feet the width of the mat. Right hand will reach towards the calf, the heel. We'll gaze under that left shoulder. You can bend those knees as much as you need to. Just honoring the tightness in the body. And we'll take the right hand down. Take the left hand to the opposite ankle, calf, maybe the heel. Let the head be nice and loose. So the head is heavy. Gazing under that right armpit. Now release that left hand down. We'll step the feet back into our downward dog and then take those feet into that central plane. The right leg lifts. We take the right knee towards the right shoulder. Inhale, take the weight forward. Exhale, extend that right leg back. Four more like that. Right knee to right shoulder. We breathe in, shoulders over the wrist. Slowly extend that right leg back. Last three. We're breathing, we shift that weight forward into that high plank position. Exhale, extend through the toes. Last two, we're breathing. Maybe connecting the knee outside the tricep. Right leg back, last one on this side. Right knee, right shoulder. We extend and lower that leg down. Find that downward dog. Just pedal out those feet a little bit, shake out that head. We'll hug those big toes into that center plane. Now the left leg extends. 
On an inhale, we shift the weight forward and we take that left knee towards our left shoulder. Maybe it connects. Slowly extend that leg back. Four more like that. We're warming up the body, breathing, extending, slowly reaching that leg back. Three more on this side. Left knee to left shoulder. We lengthen, extend, last two. Breathing, last one. Left shoulder towards, left knee towards left shoulder. We lift and lower that leg down, downward dog. Shake out the head. Steady breathing. Please take one more inhale. We let that go, bend the knees, step, or maybe hop to the top of the mat. We find that halfway lift, forward fold. We find our chair position. Arms extend, squeeze that imaginary brick between your thighs again. Find that connection to your core. We shift our eyes to look at all 10 of our toes. More weight into the heels. Now let's lift those arms higher. We tuck our tail, drop those hips a little, squeeze those knees together. Can you lift those hands a little higher? Two more breaths here. Tail tucks under, we lift and extend. Now hands to our heart center as we fold forward. Beautiful, we find that halfway lift. Please step or jump those feet back. High plank to low plank. A cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. We take those toes into that center lane. The right leg lifts. We take the right knee to the right shoulder. Then crisscross it to the left, to the right, and kick it back. We'll do two more like that. Right knee to right shoulder. We cross it to the left, to the right shoulder, and extend. Last one, listen carefully. We take the knee to the right shoulder, to the left, to the right, and step it forward into crescent lunge. So maybe offset your feet for a better foundation, a better balance. Arms extend up over the head. So we draw those floating ribs in. You can modify if you'd like, drop that left knee to the earth. But we take a big breath in here. On an exhale, we'll hover that left knee to the earth. Then we're gonna reach the hands forward, extend that left leg back all the way up. So four more like that. So we'll lower those hands down, the left knee hovers. Then you pitch your heart forward, extend through the left leg, reach your arms forward, use that core to come all the way up. Beautiful. So the hands descend, that left knee hovers. We pitch our heart forward, reach through that back leg, use that core, come all the way up, or just one more on this side. So we hover, the arms lower, we extend the arms, Extend through that left leg, all the way up. Beautiful, we'll take our hands to heart center. Right leg back, high plank to low. A cobra or up dog, downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat. Shake out the head and hug those big toes into that center plane. So the left leg lifts. We take the left knee now outside the left shoulder. We take the knee to the right, to the left, and extend. Four more like that. Breathing, knee to the left shoulder, to the right, to the left, and extend. I'm sorry, we just have one more. So we take the knee to the left shoulder, to the right, to the left, look straight ahead, step the leg forward into that crescent lunge. We ride all the way up, Extend those arms a little higher. So we'll come to the other side. So on the next breath, <clears throat> we lower that, the hands down, that right knee hovers. We pitch our heart forward, reach through the right heel. Use your core to come all the way up. We're breathing, so we lower. Maybe hover a moment. Find that extension, heart forward. Use that core, arms high. Two more. Moving with our breath, we hover, we extend and lift. So nice. Last one here. We hover, reach your heart forward. You have that beautiful length. Use that core to come all the way up. 
We'll take our hands to our heart center, that left leg back, high plank to low plank, a cobra or up dog. We'll meet in downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. Steady breathing. Slowing down that breath. Shake out that head. Please take one more inhale. We let that go. Bend the knees. Step or jump to the top of the mat. Halfway lift. Let's fold forward and sit into that chair position again. Extend those arms up. So we're breathing in here. Exhale, hands behind you. Lift those heels up. Squeeze those knees. And we'll slowly lower down. Again, we breathe in, we reach. We take those hands behind you. Squeeze. Look straight ahead. Open up those arches of the feet. Last one. We're breathing, we're reaching. We extend those hands, come under the balls of the feet, look straight ahead, squeeze those knees. We'll sit into that chair. Breathing here. We'll take our hands to our heart center as we fold. Open up those feet, hips distance apart. Peace fingers around those big toes. We find that halfway lift, open up those collarbones. Now elbows out to the side, crown of the head towards the floor. We shake out that head. Slow down that breath. Bending those knees as much as we need to. Lick your lips, swallow a few times. So staying holding on to those toes or we explore a little further depths this morning, sliding those hands, the toes towards our wrist creases. Find that halfway lift, soften the knees, elbows bend out to the side, crown of the head towards the floor. Find that breath. Take another full inhale. Let's exhale the air out, release the hands, and we'll just step back into an embryo position. So not child's pose, but take your knees towards one another and then just lengthen over. So it's just a modified child's pose. Those knees are touching. Swallow a few times. Feeling the bones get heavier. And from this embryo position, let's just open up those knees a little wider now and settle into our child's pose. So the heart is reaching towards the floor. We're letting go of any control of the belly. So just let it extend. Feel the breath. Unhinge that jaw. Please take one more full breath here. We let that go and we'll slowly transition onto our hands and knees. We tuck our toes under, lift those six bones into our downward dog, shake out that head. Now the right leg lifts. We bend the knee, we open up that right hip, extend the right leg, step it into warrior two. Arms reach up and over. We'll drop into those hips. Tracking that right knee over the, towards the right pinky toe. So from our warrior two, the left hand's going to reach to the right. We're gonna pull that arrow back, we're gonna shoot it, and then come back into warrior two, drop into those hips. So three more times like that. Left hand can clap into right, draw that arrow back and shoot it, open into warrior two, drop into those hips. Two more, left hand to right, Cock, cock the arrow, shoot it, warrior two. One more on this side, left hand to right, pull it back, shoot the arrow, warrior two, and we'll straighten that right leg, spin the right toes in, left toes out, warrior two on the other side. So drop into those hips, feel the outer edge of that right foot, tracking that left knee right over the ankle. 
So the hips and chest are parallel to the sides of the mat. Arms extend, we soften those shoulders. So let's just turn our palms towards the front, so towards the side of the mat. Now the right hand's gonna come to the left. We draw that arrow back and shoot it and find our warrior two. Three more like that. We breathe, we cock the air, we shoot it and drop into warrior two. Two more. Connect, draw it back, warrior two. Last one on this side. We draw the hands together, aim, shoot, warrior two. Nice. Now we'll straighten that left leg, spin those toes in, reach the arms up overhead. Let's bend that right elbow. We've been exploring this posture a lot this morning. Draw that navel in, slight bend in the knees, and slowly forward fold. So when we're about here, our weight comes into the heel. So inviting you to explore more of the weight into the balls of the feet. Slowly come all the way down. Beautiful long spine. We're just going to stay here for one full breath in. One full breath out. And as slowly as we went down, we're going to come back up. So take your time. Our head was below our heart. We come all the way up. Nice, let's release our hands down. And we'll come to the other side. So a full breath in, arms reach up overhead. Now we'll take that opposite elbow, that left elbow. We draw those floating ribs back into the body. Take a slight bend in the knees, pinching from our hips, beautiful long spine. You get extra yogi points if you go slower than you want to. So take your time, use those toes. We'll stay down here for just one full breath in, one full breath out. And as slowly as we descend it, take that same timing to come all the way up. Beautiful, take your time. Nice, and we'll release our hands down. Now one more time, we take a full breath in, reach the arms up overhead. Now we'll swan dive forward. Use that core, we've been exploring that all morning and taking those hands in line with your toes. Beautiful long spine. Two more breaths here. Bend those knees a little more, take the weight into the balls of the feet. Then we'll find that halfway lift. Spin those left toes out. Let's find Skandasana. So the right foot flexes. You support your hands at the floor. Maybe take one hand at your heart or maybe both hands at your heart center. And we'll find our way to the other side. So the right knee is tracking over the right ankle. The left heel is flexed. Left foot is flexed. And one more time each side. So the left knee bends, skandasana, our heart lifts. And last side. Right knee bends, skandasana. Maybe you find that balance position. And then we'll find that straddle position with our legs again. Our toes turn in slightly. We'll take our hands on our hips. Inhale, come all the way up. And we'll heel toe those feet together. Samasthi to he, equal standing pose. So hands come to our heart center. Let's just take a moment aligning the body. So starting with our foundation at our feet, root through the big toe, little toe, inner and outer heel, tracking those knees over our ankles, <clears throat> hips over our knees, our shoulders over our hips, our head is level. And let's flutter those eyelids open, blinking those eyes, beautiful. So we'll find our dancer. We'll go right away into our dancer. Right elbow, right hip, left arm extends. Same setup that we always explore. We bend that right knee, reach for the inner arch of that right foot and squeeze those knees. So before we go any further, lift that left hand a little higher. Can stay right here for the for the balance position, or we'll start that kicking action with the leg. So just go till you find that resistance. We pause here, sip in the inhale, exhale, ride that breath down. 
You find that next area of resistance, pause. Just explore it, find that breath, and maybe you go a little further here, pouring it on, reaching and kicking, maybe softening that left knee for three, two, on one. Ride that breath up, we release the leg, hands to our heart center, samasti to he. Full breath in here. Nice long exhale. So dancer on the other side, left elbow, left hip, right hand reaches. You bend that left knee, reach for the inner arch, hug those knees. Finding our balance, just starting that foundation off right. We'll lift that right hand a little higher, try to level off those hips and start the action with kicking. So right when you find that first resistance, we pause here, sip in an inhale. Exhale it out and maybe go a little further. We pause, we breathe in, we breathe out, and then maybe pour it on. So enjoy the posture, find your full expression. It may vary very much from the other side. Last full breath in, and then ride that breath up. Release that leg, hands to heart center. And let's just ring out the spine before we go on. A happy life is a happy spine. For three, for two, and one. We pause, open up those fingers, enjoy that prana. We blink our eyes awake, heel toe those feet together, and we'll find that figure four. So right ankle over the left thigh, taking hands at your heart center. At any time in this posture, you can always go further and explore. So we're, I'm gonna ride the elbows towards that bottom leg, but you can stay here, explore this posture or start bending that left knee slightly. Those elbows are descending as you drop those hips, reaching for that heel, flex the toes. Nice, Stacy. beautiful. We'll slowly ride that up. And we have two more on this side. So just take your time like we did. You stop where you first find that resistance. Flex the right foot. Opening up those hips, a slight bend in that left knee, eyes eye level. Maybe you go a little further. Beautiful, ride that breath up. We just have one more here. Take a full breath in. Enjoy that ride down. So we've already created those, those traction, that, that direction for the body to go. And maybe you go a little further. Those elbows may touch. Ice will come all the way up. And release that right leg down. We'll just shake out that extra energy. And we'll come to the other side. So that left ankle comes on top of the right thigh. And this is a great posture to explore and just stay right here. Or maybe take your hands to your heart center. We take that slight bend in the right knee. Those hips are lowering. Those elbows are descending. Our core is connected, that navel in and up towards our spine and then just ride that breath up. Take your time. We just have two more. We breathe in and slowly lower down. Our eyes are still level. Just look straight ahead, focus on the point, corner of a window. Go back up. Last one. So you're doing a great job. So maybe those elbows come a little closer this last round. So we've created those, those tracks for the body to go down. So just enjoying that ride. Maybe you go a little closer, doesn't matter. Inhale back up. Beautiful work, we release that leg, shake out that energy. And let's just step at the top of the mat. Vinyasa, full breath in. Slowly uh, exhale all the way down. We find that halfway lift. 
Step or jump those feet back. High plank to low. Cobra or up dog. Downward dog, eyes towards the back of the mat. We'll drop those knees, exploring our Ustrasana. So again, inviting you to maybe explore with the brick. So we take it into our thighs, squeeze that brick, let's tuck our toes under. I always give my knees a little extra cushion by just rolling my mat up. So you find that connection, we tuck our toes under, our hands support on our lower back, those elbows hug towards one another. We breathe in here and draw those hips forward. Find that bow position. Our eyes are bright. Our breath is steady. Ooh, that, that was my knee. Right. We're breathing. <laughs> and we'll come all the way up. Nice, let's just remove the brick to the side. We'll take a few cat cows between sides. So root through those shins, round the back body. And then reach your heart forward. We'll come back to neutral, gaze over the right shoulder. Through neutral to the left shoulder. Back to neutral, second round of Ustrasana. So we're still on our knees. This time we'll root through our shins. I've removed the brick. You can take uh, your second version with the brick or find, use that connection. We've just been exploring that core coming from our power center in all of the postures. So those <clears throat> elbows hug in, our heart lifts, we expand those side ribs. Imagine you're lifting up and over that big, huge beach ball, our hips reaching forward, our throat is soft. Still able to breathe in and out through the nose, maybe reach for the heels. Two more breaths here. Allow the body to soften one final full inhale. We let that go. Hands on your hips. If you reach for your heels, you come all the way up and we'll find another quick child's pose. So open up those knees, settle into those hips. And from those extended arms, just reach them behind the body, connect your hands to your heels. From here, give your feet just a little foot massage if you can reach them. They do so much for us. And we'll come all the way up. We'll cross our ankles. We'll come back to our bricks. So coming on to our back body, so we've been working on core the whole time, but we'll just do a little more core since we've been using our bricks to transfer the bricks, just to solidify that action a little more. So synchronizing the hands and the feet. So let's just reach our hands up towards the sky, just like our feet are. Even try flexing the feet. Bill is bending his knees, protecting his back. So we'll slowly lower the hands overhead as the heels are hovering above the mat. Pause here, we breathe in, then we lift and we'll reach for the brick. And this time again, synchronize, go as slow as you can, heels and hands overhead at the same time, then we lift. So you can do this posture without the brick, just slowly lowering down, relaxing, we breathe in. Notice that the body is shaking. Any strong feelings or move, uh, sensations, please don't do the posture. We can explore something if you ever have those sensations. So let's just take a few more ex exchanges here. Riding those heels down slowly. Let's take two more. How are you doing, Bill? Fantastic. Okay, we'll take one last exchange. And we'll just lower that brick to the side. Hug those knees in. Give yourself a nice morning hug. Feeling those opposite elbows again, if that's available to you. You squeeze those knees in, massaging those internal organs. 
And we'll take our forehead towards our knees, lengthen the back of the neck. And we'll cactus those hands out to the side. Please drop the knees to the right. Hug those knees together and then take the gaze over the opposite shoulder. So those knees will hug back in towards the center. Let's take them in the opposite position. Draw them to the left and take your gaze over that right shoulder. And one last time, we'll hug those knees back in. And just extend those legs. And we're gonna roll onto our belly. So coming onto our belly, let's just take a left ear towards the floor. We'll start by taking the arms alongside the body. Feel those toenails. And now we'll, we'll extend those arms out into a T position. So your palms are on the floor. The left ear is towards the mat. We'll start by bending that left knee and you'll take the left foot behind the body. So now I'm gonna to shift to my right ear and you'll start by taking that left hand up towards the sky. So the left hand is reaching towards the right hand. You're on the right side of the body, opening up those shoulders. And we'll slowly come back onto our belly, extend that left leg down. Arms are out into that T position and we'll come to the other side. So we bend that right knee. We lift the right thigh off the floor. We take the right foot behind the left leg. So now we're gonna shift towards our left ear. You can stay here exploring this beautiful twist, opening up those shoulders, or we lift the right hand up and it's coming towards that left hand. So depending upon how open your shoulders are, opening up the front of the chest, Nice, and we'll slowly lower that right hand down. We come back onto our belly, and we'll take our hands in line with our chest, come onto our hands and knees, and find your way into downward dog. Eyes towards the back of the mat. The right leg extends again, we bend the knee, we stack the hips, we extend that right leg, and we'll find our pigeon. Right knee Whoa. towards the right thumb, the left leg extends, we untuck the toes. Let's walk those hands forward. So we'll be here a little less than a minute. Forehead on top of the hands. We're again using that brick. So sending the breath to the tightness of the hips. Outer right hip here. If you're not feeling anything, you want to take the shin more parallel to the front of your mat. Finding a deeper exploration here. Soften through the heart, allow the shoulders to pull away from the ears. We have two more breaths here. Final full inhale. We'll let that go. We lift our heart. Walk your hands back towards the center. So you stay here or we'll explore bending that left leg. Reach the left hand back and draw that left heel towards your bottom. So all kinds of versions here. You can keep the top of the foot and the elbow crease. Maybe extend the right hand or finding mermaid. The right hand is reaching towards the left. So just honor where you are. You don't have to go into the full expression of the postures. We're just opening up the body. So letting that ego go away or just go in a different room. Nice, now let's release that leg. Set the, tuck the left toes under, set the right leg back. You can cycle through vinyasa, or we'll find Raja Kapatasana, our pigeon on the other side. So we lift the left leg, we bend the knee, stack the hips, 
that left leg extends, and then we take that left knee towards the left thumb. Look at your shin bone. Again, the heel, if the heel's closer in, it's a little easier posture. You can give yourself a little more uh, openings by bringing the shin more parallel to the front of the mat. So walk your hands forward. Settling into your breath. Just trace it in and out through the nose. Just taking a face scan, noticing where you're holding in your face, maybe your forehead, maybe you have gripping in your jaw. Just notice where you hold that energy in your face. See if you can soften the face. Lick your lips. Allow those cheekbones to relax. The inner ear. We take one more breath here. Let that go completely. We'll lift our hearts. Walk your hands back towards the center. You stay here or explore bending that right knee. You can stay right there or reach the right hand up and over for the top of the foot. You draw that heel in. You shift your chest and hips towards the front of the mat. You can connect the toes into that elbow crease and maybe elevate that left hand. Or again, if you're working on mermaid, that left elbow lifts. We did a lot of exploration in those elbows this morning. Beautiful, and we'll slowly lower that right leg down, tuck those right toes under, step back into our downward dog. And then we'll take our knees to the floor for Varasana. So we, again, can use your brick and sit here a little, sit a little different than what we started with this morning. We're settling our hips right between our heels. This is a stronger sensation in your knees for some of you. Bill is using a brick. And again, you have control in how far you explore this posture. So maybe this is where you just want to stay. Or maybe take those hands behind you. Forearms for some of you. And maybe for some of you, you can bring your back body all the way down to the mat. You can take those arms up overhead, reach for opposite elbows. So just being content where you are in this posture. We'll just hold it for a few more breaths. And soften the face. We take a final full inhale. Let that go completely. And as slowly as we came into the posture, you come out of the posture just as slowly. So just take your time and we'll come onto our hands and knees and just extend one leg. Feel that rush of blood and energy flood through the leg. Nice, now that right knee comes down and we'll extend that left leg. take that left knee down. We'll cross our ankles, come on to our sits bones, extend those legs. We'll remove that extra flesh and let's bend that right knee, take the heel in that elbow crease. So we'll just rock our baby here, opening up those hips, soften the shoulders, and we'll take the heel on that left hip point. A full breath in, arms reach up overhead, and we melt forward, reaching for that left ankle, toes, calf. Soften through that left knee. Breathe into the back body. We take one more inhale here. Let that go. Lift your heart, and now just take that left foot outside the left knee. So the left hand reaches up. We take that elbow outside the 
knee and gaze over the right shoulder. We breathe in, we lift and we twist. Two more breath in and we twist. One more in breath and we twist over that right shoulder. Let's counter twist in the opposite direction. And we'll extend that right leg, just shake them out. And now we bend that left knee, reach that left heel in the right elbow crease. That left arm comes on the outside of the leg. You can find opposite uh, wrists or finger, finger pad uh, connection. And then just rock that baby. A nice tall spine. Notice if you're rounding over. See if you can connect with that core, lift the heart. Now we take that heel on the right hip point. Maybe take the bind or extend the arms up overhead. The right foot is flexed. Lengthen. Beautiful. Find the toes, the ankle, the calf. Steady rhythmic breathing. We lift our heart. And now we'll take that foot outside the right knee, flex the right toes, right hand lifts. We take the elbow outside the left knee and we twist. So we breathe in, that's it, and twist. Inhale. Twist over that left shoulder. One more time, full breath in. And we twist. We'll counter twist in the opposite direction. Extend that left leg. One more posture this morning, a full breath in. And we melt forward into that Pachimottanasana. So the deepest forward fold of the morning. Send the breath to the back body. Maybe wiggle the head side to side. Then we'll extend those arms in front of us and slowly unwind that spine all the way down. Take your time. Back body to the floor. And then we'll squeeze everything for five counts. Your face, your hands, your feet are squeezing. Five, squeeze four, squeeze three, two, and on one, we let go. Full breath in, let it go. Gently twist your wrists in one direction, and twisting the wrists in the opposite direction, and twisting the ankles in and out, and then adding movement to our head, right and left. And then we bend those knees into our chest. We'll take them to either side, pause for a moment as we find our way to a comfortable seated position. Eyes soft or closed. Feeling those sits bones rooted. And a quote this morning from President Barack Obama. Keep exploring, keep dreaming, 
Keep asking why. Don't settle for what you already know. Never stop believing in the power of your ideas, your imagination, your hard work to change the world. So bringing your hands to our heart center, bowing your forehead to the tips of your fingers. The light within me honors and recognizes the light within all of you. Thank you for sharing your practice. Make it a great day and namaste. Thank you for the music, bud. Yeah. Keep dreaming, keep believing. You can do whatever you want, right? It starts on the mat, we take it out into the world. 